Hey, I'm Daniel, and welcome to Uscreen Health and Fitness, the best place for personal trainers, yoga instructors, brick and mortar studio owners, and fitness influencers to learn how to grow their business online. The industry standard for lighting is called three point lighting. This means that if you want to model your video lighting after the industry standard followed around the world, it means you might want to consider investing in a minimum of three lights. The three lights are called the key light, the fill light, and the back or background light. You can certainly make do with two lights. I've done it on paid shoots and even made it work with just one light. In the rest of this video, I'm going to walk you through some lighting kits that you can buy at four very different price points. Let's go. Natural light is your cheapest option, but it's also the most unforgiving and fickle source available to you. That's because filming outside is really only reasonable in the morning or the late afternoon. When the sun is directly overhead, it makes you look bad on camera because of all the harsh shadows and the bright light. If you do film outside, then make sure your subject is facing the sun to help light their face. If the sun is to the side or behind the subject, you'll end up with a lot of shadows and the final image will come out looking not so great. You could still try that and buy a light reflector on Amazon for a about $30 to help fill in any shadows, but you'll be playing a game of cat and mouse against the clock as the sunlight is obviously limited each day. Your other option is to piece together relatively inexpensive equipment for an affordable lighting kit. Most of this gear can be bought from a home improvement store like Home Depot or Lowe's. The upside here is the pricing, but the downside is that none of this equipment was actually made for lighting videos. At a minimum, you would need two clamp lights, spring clips, dimmable daylight LED bulbs, extension cords, a white medium heavy shower curtain, clothespins, light dimmer, and at least two lighting stands, maybe more. You could clip the clamp lights on the stands and secure them with spring clips. Add the bulbs and determine how bright you want them to be. Cut up the shower curtain and clip those pieces over the bulbs to help soften and diffuse the light. Plug your lights into the dimmer so you have more precise control and then place your lights and start filming. You could also buy enough gear to add a third or a fourth light if you really want. All of this stuff would run you about $100 from whatever store or online retailer you choose. If you're scrappy and maybe you even have some of these items already, then this might be a great place to start. If you don't mind spending just a little bit more, I'd highly recommend checking out the next option. For $169 on Amazon, Neewer sells a very robust lighting kit for the price and it comes with a lot of equipment. If it's important to you to get a lot for your money, then this might be just what you've been looking for. In this kit, you get four lights, four 45 watt light bulbs, two light umbrellas, one soft box, three muslin backdrops, six clamps, and a background stand support system, and two carrying bags. I might have missed something, but needless to say, there's a lot of gear in this kit, and it's versatile enough to be used in a variety of settings. This is a great kit for people who want something that works for both photos and videos, as well as those who don't want to spend a ton of money and want that money to go as far as possible. But because you're getting so much gear for such a low price, you should not expect the highest quality from this equipment. I've used Neewer before, and while it's not the best or the highest quality equipment, it's still not bad for the price point and it definitely gets the job done. Like I said, the lower price point does not mean that the gear is bad. It just means the materials will be cheaper and the performance won't be as good as higher end options, but it can absolutely get the job done. It's not an LED light kit. This means you'll need actual bulbs or bulb replacements when the original bulbs light their last scenes. These lights also produce a bit more heat so they can warm up a small space quickly, which can be super uncomfortable if you're shooting indoors for long periods of time. If you're working out on camera and find yourself already being hot and sweaty, you may not want the added discomfort of lights that create additional heat. LED lights are a great replacement for that because they give off far less heat. I think this budget is kind of the sweet spot where you start to get into some quality gear without burning your wallet to the ground. For $599, you can get a three light kit from GVM or Great Video Maker that are LEDs and they have RGB functionality, which means that the lights can change color. LED lights don't give off much heat, which is great for both small spaces and for those of you making workout videos. These lights are dimmable so you can control the brightness, and like I said, they've got RGB capability. That means I can control the color and the feel of each individual light, and I can do it both on the light and via a smartphone app. This particular kit comes with three lights, three light stands, and a carrying case. The lights also come with a kind of opaque piece of plastic that can be used is diffusion and while they work to some extent they actually left me wanting a bit more softness from my lights. So in addition to this kit I bought some soft boxes which are $40 each so you'll add another $120 to the cost if you opt for those. But the soft boxes do make a nice difference in the softness and diffusion of the light. One more thing to note about these lights is that the light panels themselves are actually
actually a little bit on the small side. That's not a bad thing as it means the lighting kit is a bit more portable and easier to move around in small spaces. Overall, these lights are fantastic for the money and they're hard to beat. One last note on the GVM lights is that you should pay attention to their sales. They seem to run reasonable promotions every now and then with sizable discounts. I just saw this same kit listed for 50% off a few weeks ago, which meant that the three light kit was in the 300 to $400 range rather than $600. Boy, that escalated quickly. When it comes to high-end lighting, Aperture is the name in the industry. You can't go wrong with their stuff, and the Aperture 120D 3 light kit for $2,649 will do almost everything you need. In my experience, people seem to buy just one light, which is because when you add a softbox for a diffusion, a single light can end up running close to $1,000. That's really tough for some of us to swallow. That's why I use the cheaper GVM lights, and people like PJ, our CEO, uses an Aperture light. She said, oh, you rich, rich. Jokes aside, if you're ready to make a real investment in your lighting, a 120D 3 light kit from Aperture is an incredible option. You'll also want to buy a light dome softbox for each of these three lights which are sold separately. Each softbox costs about $100, so when you add that to the price, this kit is essentially $3,000. This is professional level gear. If you're going to invest $1,000 or more into a nice camera and audio gear, then don't skimp on the lighting. Aperture prices are what they are for a reason and they have the reputation to back it up. Now you've got your main lights, but I think the real fun of lighting is accent light. There are so many ways to use them and they almost always look great on camera. That's because they're typically used in the background, which is slightly blurred. And there's just something beautiful about a soft, blurred light that we all seem to love. I've got a few I want to mention to you quickly and I'll go from the cheapest to the most expensive options. First up are fairy lights. I actually use these in my current studio because they're so cheap. I think I actually got mine at Walmart for $1, but you can find a ton of different options for these on Amazon. There's some great ones in the range of $10 or $15. They're a beautiful ambient light and a cheap way to boost the production value of your videos without breaking the bank. The next option is Nanoleaf. Nanoleaf actually sells these really cool light panels that I've seen a lot of streamers on Twitch using. They sell them both individually and in kits. The starter kit runs about $200, but it's a simple, versatile light that can enhance the look of any video background. While I don't have any of these yet, they're definitely on my list to buy in the future. Next on my list is the Aperture MC4 Light Travel Kit ringing in at $500. Something from Aperture is expensive. Surprise! Jokes aside, this is actually an amazing product. It comes with four mini LED lights that can change color and they're each roughly the size of a credit card. The kit comes with a carrying case that actually doubles as a portable charger. And there are just so many uses for these lights. They can be used as back or background lights or it could serve as your entire lighting setup in a pinch when you're on the go. The options are really endless, and I've been dying to get my hands on some of these after seeing some other YouTube creators use them in their videos. Now, if you've bought your lights and you're ready to learn how to use those lights and how to set them up in your studio, you need to watch the video over there right now. I hope you found one of these lighting suggestions helpful, and if you did, I'd be so grateful if you'd hit those like and subscribe buttons below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you out there.